Lone Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. In the raw, desperate days following the Civil War, effective law enforcement along the western frontier, already weakened by distance and dishonesty, began to vanish entirely in many areas. To combat the growing threat of uncontrolled violence, private citizens organized themselves into groups known as Committees of Vigilance. These men, these vigilantes, acted as judge, jury, and executioner. And in time, like all men who take the law into their own hands, they grew to be feared and as hated as the very element they sought to destroy. I was rustling cattle off for Turk Henderson Ranch. Ray Torgerson said he seen me. Oh, Sam, Sam. Well, I was near there, but I wasn't rustling me. I was just riding by. I seen what was going on, so I beat it. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. They're coming back. All right, Sam, get out. Amy. I've got a four-month-old baby in that back room, and I won't have a gunfight here. Now, you made your bed. You lie in it. Yeah, you're right. It's never nobody else's problem, is it? All right. Listen. There's room in the cellar. No, Johnny wouldn't be right. I'm going out the back way. We're looking for Sam Donald, John. Has he been here? We haven't seen him, Mr. Bennett. You sure of that? Oh, all right, Torgerson. Take it easy. How about joining us, John, and uh, helping us track him down? My husband isn't the joining type. Yes, ma'am. We know. You don't think much of the vigilantes, do you, pal? Sounds like they got him. Lucky he wasn't found here in the house. That would have made you accomplices, wouldn't it? Who gave you the right to make the laws, Bennett? What's made you so almighty wise and pure? John. He's done for. Ah, uh, fine. Well, I hope we didn't disturb the child, ma'am. A good day to you both. Those dirty, rotten murderers. Johnny, what are you going to do? Never mind. So I'm sending this letter to the Padre and hope that you will pick it up soon. Here in Blue River, the vigilantes have taken over entirely. They make their own laws and do their own punishing. I can't see where it'll end, but I'm beginning to be afraid now. This John Stark came out here, me not know him. I tell him I met him five years ago when you were in Washington. Sound like Blue River have bad problem. Very bad, Tano. But any organization that puts themselves above the law is bound to cause havoc. Seems strange John Stark not trying to stop vigilantes himself. Well, John's a fine man, but he's never been a public-spirited citizen. He and his wife have always tried to avoid trouble by turning away from it. They like to live quietly and stay in the background. When trouble come up, Kimisabi, a man have to face it. Well, I'll talk to John about that. There are some truths a man must learn for himself. And we go to Blue River, Kimisabi? Yes, Tano, as quickly as we can. Let's get mounted. What is it, Mr. Torgerson? I want to see Johnny. He's in the barn. Yeah. Hi, Johnny. What do you want, Torgerson? It's a fine way to greet a guest. What do you want, Torgerson? You've been drinking. Get out. Don't turn your back when I'm talking. It ain't polite. 
Tell you why I dropped in. I need a hundred bucks. So I decided to start a protective league. That's the first month's dues, a hundred bucks. I knew you'd want to be a member. What do I get protected from? You? No, not me particularly. You might call it protection against uh, vigilante mistakes. Now, you take this Sam Donald business the other day. What about Sam? Well, sir, I went to Sam about a month ago. I asked him to join my little organization, but he turned me down. Are you trying to tell me you set the vigilantes on Sam? I thought I saw him at Turk Henderson's place. Maybe I did. <laughs> but maybe I was mistaken. Why, you filthy... Watch it, friend. First thing you know, I won't let you join at all. And that might be real rough. You know, Ben, I don't trust none of you guys to stick to yourselves. And it wouldn't take much to make him and his boys ride all over this place. You're a murderer, Torgerson. You killed Sam Donald, it's sure as if you shot him yourself. Maybe I just don't let you have it right now, pal. I grabbed it. We're going to have to get away from here. Well, then Bennett to be sure to follow us. Maybe I should just go straight to him, tell him what happened. Go to Earl Bennett? The vigilantes asked first and think afterwards, or they'd hang you. And what had happened to me? What about the baby? What would his life be like growing up, hearing how his father was lynched for murder? But it wasn't murder. Can you prove that it wasn't? All right. Now, Johnny, here's what we're going to have to do. As soon as it gets dark, you get Torgerson's body back over to his own house. He lived alone, didn't he? Yes. As soon as Bennett finds him, he's going to start questioning everybody around here. And when he comes to us, Johnny, you've got to swear you didn't do it. John, will you do that? Hey, you've got to do it, do you understand? Be a little more quiet. You have to slam every door in the house like. I'm, I'm sorry, Amy. But it's this waiting. They must have found Torgerson by now. They've had all night and half the morning. I know it's hard, darling. But if you just. I think you know why we're here, Johnny. Rick Torgerson's dead. Doctor said he was killed sometime yesterday. Did you do it? No, of course not. We can account for his movements up until about dusk. We was wondering if you'd seen him around then. No. You're lying, Johnny. What do you want to lie like that for? Ray told us he was coming here. Why don't you leave him alone? Can't you see he's telling you the truth? No, ma'am. I certainly can't. What happened here? The vigilantes have taken John. John? Well, why? They said he killed a man. And did he? No, no. Fresh tracks be easy to follow, Kimmy Sammy. Oh, please go after him. Come on, Tonto. This'll do it. Bennett, please. What about my wife, my kid? Throw it. 
don't want any shooting if it can be avoided. We'll use the old gang trick. You understand, Chief Abbey? Guns. We haven't got a chance. Get off your horses, all of you. Looks like we're surrounded. Do what the man says. Get their guns, Tonto. Just yes, what can I say? How can I thank you? All right, what do you want? Justice? Right now, you happen to be obstructing justice. Your friend is a murderer. He just killed a man named Ray Torgerson. Is that true, John? Do you really expect an honest answer? Naturally, he denies that he even saw Torgerson yesterday. But we happen to know that Torgerson stopped by his farm. John Stark says he's innocent. I believe him. Why should you? Because I've known him for a number of years. I know what kind of a man he is. Mister... You're still obstructing justice. I doubt if any of you vigilantes know what that word means. However, we'll give you a chance to prove your good faith. You'll give us a chance? All we ask is that John Stark be held in a safe place until we can send for Marshal Gray and Rimrock. He'll investigate and decide whether Stark should be punished. I don't take orders from a masked outlaw. Then there's no use arguing any longer. What do you aim to do, mister? We're taking Stark with us. Ready, Tom? Ready, Kim and I warn you not to follow. It was a trick. There was only two of them. Come on. What are we stopping here for, mister? They'll catch up with us, sure. I'm not catch up. Me see to that. Yeah, but if they... Relax, John. We're safe enough for the moment. The important thing is to find a safe place for you while we clear you of this crime. Me think his own house best place to hide him, Kimasabe. Vigilantes think Stark run away, but then not expect him to return to his own house. Yeah, you're right, Tunnel. You'd better go home. Now, where did Torgerson live? What do you want to know that for? I can't think of a better place to start looking than in Torgerson's own room, can you? No. He lived on Miller Road. Last house where you come to the woods. We'll contact you if we find out anything definite. You're not worried. We find real murder before long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you will. around my neck when the masked man Tonto came along. Oh, darling. Don't worry now. It's going to be all right now. No, no, it isn't going to be all right. They're going to investigate. They'll find out that Torgerson came here, that I shot him. They'll, they'll never believe it was an accident. Amy, I've got to hurry. I, I'm going to Mexico. I'll send for you and the baby later, and we'll, we'll move further west where nobody knows us. It's the only way. Is it? Amy, I'm no hero. I'm a human being. I don't want to die. What difference does it make who hangs me? The law or the vigilantes? The rope will cut just as tight. I'll strangle just as soon. I'll pack your bag. Amy, you understand? Oh, yes. Oh, but I, I think we did it wrong somewhere, Johnny. We made a mistake. Somewhere. Me hide horses and back, Miss Abby. Good. Torgerson wasn't very neat. The room always tell what kind of man lived inside. There no sign of books, no newspapers, and no way to learn. This man must be foolish, stupid. Unreliable, too. Look at the unpaid bills. You think maybe him killed for money problems, Kimisemi? Yeah, it's possible, Tonto. But the important thing is to find out where he was killed. 
Now, if we can prove that the vigilantes were lying when Torgerson visited Stark's farm yesterday, we'll have one half the battle. Now, I may notice track outside, maybe Torgerson's horse. Have not in left front shoe. We follow it? Good idea. After we search the place. kept a record. Entry made yesterday. John Stark. 6 p.m., $100. But that not proof that Torgers and Visit Stark Farm came to me. That's right. I think we better follow those tracks you mentioned. Come on. Trailing into barn, you must have me. It's been some kind of a struggle here, Tom. Stark has tried to hide it, but he didn't do a very good job. You must have me. Dried blood on straw. Looked like your friend had good reason to hold back truth. There's never a good reason for that. Never. I heard your horses. I knew you'd come back. John killed Torgerson, didn't he, Mrs. Stark? Yes. But it was an accident. He, he was just trying to take the gun away from Torgerson, just trying to protect himself. Where's John now? I won't tell you. It's better for him to face court of law, Mrs. Stark, and can't run from own crime forever. But it was an accident, I tell you. That's something for a judge and jury to decide. Him go to Mexico, Mrs. Stark? No. I mean... I don't know. I'd better get started. Please. Please let him go. You're his friend. That's why I can't let him go. Because I'm his friend. But the vigilantes are to blame, not John. The vigilantes. And how did vigilantes get so much power? Not through us. John never joined them. Did John ever oppose them? What? A man can't stop evil just by turning away from it. The whole idea of democracy built on citizens taking part in it. Every one of us must fight injustice where he finds it. You can't enjoy the benefits of good government and make others assume its responsibilities. Can't you see that now, Mrs. Stark? Tuttle, ride to Rimrock and get Marshal Gray. You go after Stark alone, Kimis Abbey? I'm sure he'll come peacefully once I catch up with him. No, mister. No, you're wrong. He's too frightened. He'll kill you if you try to corner him. Adios. Far ahead now, Big Tuttle. Come That's far enough. I'm not going back with you. Nobody's hanging me for an accidental killing. Now you turn around and make tracks out of here, I'll blast you. So help me. You out of your mind, mister? I warned you. I won't hang. I won't hang. I'll take that gun, John. Right, mister. I couldn't kill you even to save myself. I know that. And I know you couldn't have deliberately killed Torgerson. You're not a murderer. All I want you to do is to tell the truth in court. 
I'm glad you came after me, mister. You see, John, sooner or later we must face the truth. We have to make up our minds whether we're going to become men or something less. It's kind of a turning point. You've reached it. I'm proud of you, John. Well, mister, shall we go? What's taken him so long, Tonto? The jury must have reached a decision by now. Sometime law move very slow, Mrs. Stark. You not worry. Trial will be over soon. Maybe I should have gone to the courthouse, whether John wanted me to or not. Amy, they called it self-defense. Not guilty, they said. Oh, John. Oh. The judge read Torgerson's diary. Even Earl Bennett admitted it was too easy for criminals and fanatics to get into an organization like the vigilantes. He made a public apology, disbanded the whole outfit. Oh, and it's all due to the masked man and Tonto. Why, without them, we... Well, where'd they go? To help someone else out of trouble, probably. They never stay long in any one place. Hmm, just long enough to set everything right. Oh, darling, things are going to be different from now on, aren't they? We're going to start facing our problems, instead of hiding from them. Thanks to Tonto and the Lone Ranger. I am Silver! 